Hey y'all, it's Grizz here at Windmill Farm, North Mississippi. Y'all come along with us today as we fry up some of our canned squash for frying, all right? Y'all come along. All right, y'all, as I said, we're gonna do some frying squash. Everybody's been asking on our video all the time, well, how does it fry up? How does it fry up? Well, as you see, we got some squash here we're gonna fry up. If you can see that date, That is done on 6 2020, all right? So two years. I intentionally held this a long time so we could do this, so people could see what I'm talking about. We're gonna pop the top off of this and we're gonna drain it, all right? Now, I don't know if that one's good or not. I was always told if it had discoloration to it to go ahead and throw it away. So that's the reason that one is. But y'all, this smells like fresh cut squash. All right, so we're gonna put it in. We got some cornmeal over here with some salt and pepper. Let's take some of these, put them off in here. All right, y'all, we're gonna see how that grease reacted right there. Um, that shows you how hot it is. Uh, just take the, get just a tad bit warmer. Turn it up just a little bit more. Now while this is frying, we're going to go ahead and throw some more back in the cornmeal, and we'll show you this browning up. Now, if y'all look at that, that's pliable, but it's still together so that it will fry up. I've had several comments talking about how they don't understand how they, they didn't go to mush. And if you do it the way that I, I told you to do in that video, it'll come out like this every single time, y'all. And you can actually save this up to fry later. Like I said, this is two years, okay? Well, not quite, but real close to two years. Of, so we got that going there. These uh, were done in July of 2020, just to let you know. And, I mean, it smells like fresh okra straight out of the garden, just almost. And yes, I pack most of my stuff pretty tight, y'all.
see y'all once these are up to brown as y'all can see they're not falling apart they're not mushy and when we get ready to do the rest of this stuff now the rest of this today these peas were done in october of 2020 and then we're done in july of 2020 just so y'all can see how long i have my stuff up to it okay y'all as you can see it's came out uh, golden brown it didn't turn to mush anything else now as you can see it's still good and firm tastes like it just come off the garden and that's two years that that's been sitting up because i intentionally wanted it to go a long time since several of y'all had um questions about how it actually fried up so I hope this helped y'all out. Hope you try this for your own uh, squash to fry up later in the year, because let's face it, good squash is always better to have later in the year, especially during the winter months. So thank y'all for coming along today. If you haven't done so so far, give us that thumbs up. And if you haven't already hit that bell to be reminded every time we have a video, go ahead and do that while you're there. Other than that, y'all be safe.